Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Pseudocodus. Uh, today we are gonna talk about the lead code uh, 111 problem, minimum depth of the binary tree. Uh, this problem is uh, basically a very basic problem that can be asked in an interview. Question, uh, interview. So let's move on, uh, let's get on with it. Uh, let's re uh, read what the problem is. So it says, uh, Given a binary tree, find its, find its minimum depth. Uh, the minimum depth is the number of nodes along the shortest path from the root node down to the nearest leaf node. Node, a uh, leaf node is a node with no children. So, yeah, so let's understand the problem first. So it says find out the minimum depth of the tree. Let's first understand what is the depth of the tree. Okay, so uh, let's take an example here. So it says the depth is uh, the number of nodes along the shortest path from root node to the nearest leaf node. Uh, so basically depth is a uh, distance from root node to the leaf node, right? So in this scenario, and what is a leaf node? First, a leaf node is a node where there are no more children, okay? So if you take into consideration this example one, uh, it's, it's, you can see that there are three leaf nodes, right? Uh, nine, 15 and 7 because 9 has no children so this is a leaf node 15 has no children yes leaf node is 20 a leaf node no because 20 has two children 15 and 7 and what about 7 is 7 a leaf node yeah so in total we have three leaf nodes here okay so how do we find out what is the depth depth is uh, the number of nodes from root node to the leaf node so if we so in our scenario, our root node is 3. So let's uh, understand what, is, what are the different three depths in this tree, right? Because we have three leaf nodes, so we will have three depths. From 3 to 9, it's from 3, it is 1, and then from 9. So there are two nodes that we need to hop on in order to reach the leaf node. So the depth here is 2. Whereas in order to reach 15, you have to go from 3 to 20 and then from 20 to 15. So in this scenario, our depth is going to be 3 because you move from 3 to 20 and then 20 to 15. There are three nodes in the way. So the depth is 3. For, the say, uh, for 7, it's going to be 3 from 3 to 20 and then from 20 to 7. So it's going to be 3 again because there are three nodes. Okay. So uh, now that we understand the problem correctly, let's uh, think of how we can solve this problem, right? Um, this is a classic uh, breadth first search problem uh, because, um, so if you don't know what breadth first search is, uh, you can watch a video that I, uh, that I shoot in. Um, it's in the description below, you can find the link. And there I have discussed, you know, a basic, uh, a basic code that we can use in almost every breadth first search algorithm. So I usually use that code in all of my breadth first search algorithms and that code kindly fits in. Uh, it's a basic baseline of breadth first search and obviously you can have the customizations that each problem brings, brings in to that particular code, right? So let's uh, hop on to our sketching and drawing and see how this how we can solve this problem using breadth first search. Okay, so we have our example ready. We are taking the same same example uh, as in the problem. So firstly, uh, I want you to understand why are we using breadth first search, right? Um, with, while using breadth first search, we do level wise parsing. So what happens is first we parse this level and then go to this level and then go to this level. So when we do level wise parsing, so suppose we first uh, parse three and then parse all of its children. Now we encounter nine. As you can see, we will always find a leaf node of the shortest path from root to the leaf node when using breadth first search because we are gonna get, we are looking for all the neighbors. And when you look for all the neighbors, the one that we encounter first would be nine. And this will be at the shortest path from root. So this is the reason we are using uh, breadth first search. To solve this problem, we are going to use a queue. So let's have a queue in place. Okay. 
So the algorithm goes in such way. We uh, add this root to our queue, and then uh, we we need to have you know uh, the track of the depth of the tree, right? So what we are going to store in the queue is the root itself, and then its depth. So from root we start. So root is one node. So we add one. That is the depth. Okay. So this is our queue. What we get, we'll do is while the queue is not empty, we will pop out this element from the queue. Now we have a current. Our current is three, and our depth here is one. Okay. Now we check if three has any neighbors. Three has neighbors, right? So we will add them to the queue. We add nine. Now, what will be the depth? Depth will be the current depth plus one. So the current depth is one. So one plus one, two. Right? Then we add. We need to add twenty as well. So we add twenty. And depth is what? Current depth plus one. Current depth is one. So this is will be two. Now, we move on. We pop out the first element again from the queue. We pop out nine. So now our current is nine, and our depth is now two, right? Now we see that is nine a leaf node? Um, yes, nine is a leaf node. Nine doesn't have any children. So what we do is we simply return the depth, which is two. In this scenario, two is our answer, right? So this is how you do depth per search of to find minimum depth of the tree. Let's write some code in order to uh, to write down what we have actually studied. So let's go on to the code. Okay, okay. So let's write some code. Um, first, the basic condition that we need to check is what if the root is none. So if the root is none, there is actually no depth, right? So we can just return zero. So we will check if it's uh, the root is none. Then we can just return zero. Otherwise, we need to have a queue in place, and we need to have a depth, which is initially one. And then what you do is you do queue dot append, and what are you going to append it is basically the root and then the depth, right? So I append the root and then the depth. Okay. So now we are going to traverse through the queue and then process all the elements that are there. So let's say while the queue is not empty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out the first element. So we're going to pop out queue dot pop of zero. So pop of zero basically gets us the first element in the queue. Now what we check is uh, we check if the current element is not is a leaf node or not. So we check if current dot left is none and current dot right is none. So if the, if my current node has no children, then it will be a leaf node. And what do we do in such scenario? We just simply return the depth. So what we do is we return d, which is the depth. And what if this condition is not true? What if the uh, element has more children? Then we need to add them to the queue, right? So we do if uh, current element dot left, then I add it to my queue. So I do queue dot append, and then a tuple current dot left, and depth plus one because we are going to the next level. So we need to add one to our current depth. If the same thing, I want to do it for the right node as well. So current dot right, I do q dot append, and then current dot right, and then d plus one. In the end, what we are going to do is we are going to simply return the depth. So if what if the um, q is empty, then if we just return it here, but we are going to return it here. Okay. So let's go in and submit this code. If I click on the submit button, okay, let's see how we did. Yay! Uh, it got accepted. It is uh, faster than 33% of the users. 
So actually this uh, is not correct. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, so I hope you like this. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. Uh, you know, if you want to see any more videos from me, and also if you want me to do some problems, uh, please let me know in the comments below, and I will work on them and get those videos up. Uh, yeah, happy coding. Have a good. Have a good day.